Welcome to the Carrier Ethernet Academy. This is a three-part presentation on the Metro Ethernet Forum's Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional Program. In part one, I'll present an overview of the MEF CECP program, which is then followed in part two with options for preparing to pass the CECP exam. In the third and final part, I'll share with you the fastest way to prepare for and become a Metro Ethernet Forum Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional. My name is Craig Easley. I'm the President and Dean of Academic Affairs at the Carrier Ethernet Academy and a nine-time member of the Metro Ethernet Forum's Board of Directors. In Part 1, I'll introduce you to the CECP program, discuss how it relates to other MEF certification programs, and help you understand the motivation behind creating the telecommunication industry's first independent professional certification program. Next, I'll provide you with a detailed look at the exam, the subjects that are covered, and how the exam is written. I'll give you an example of a typical question from the exam and show you how you'll need to be able to take your knowledge of MEF concepts and apply them to real-world application scenarios. At the end of the presentation today, I'll tell you how you can sign up to take the Carrier Ethernet Academy's free readiness assessment test so that you can see how you do on the MEF CECP exam. We'll also provide you with the opportunity to receive guidance counseling from one of our CECP certified counselors to help you find the best way to prepare to pass the MEF CECP exam. The MEF Equipment and Service Provider Certification Programs have been key to the MEF success over the years, with nearly 1,000 certified devices delivering more than 200 certified services around the globe. The MEF leadership thought it's high time to ensure that these certified products and services are in the hands of professionals who know how to use them. When you stop to think about it, although the MEF meetings are open to any employee of its more than 200 member companies, only a handful of people are able to attend the meetings. And when your company certified its products and services with the MEF's authorized test lab, again, only a few people are typically involved. But there are many more people behind the scenes who actively specify, develop, sell, deploy, and support these products and services, making all the, these professional MEF experts was the goal of the MEF when we set about to do the Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional Program. The program recognizes individuals who have the knowledge and expertise to succeed in the Carrier Ethernet industry. It's these professionals who have the greatest impact on the companies that they work for and the CECP credential is the way to identify them. So the benefits of the CECP exam for the companies the CEC works for are profound. It increases the productivity and effectiveness of the staff working to sell, market, promote, and deploy carry Ethernet services. It improves communication um, internally with other team members and externally with your customers and partners by fostering a common language not based on any one company's product or services. It eliminates spending th time learning third-part equipment jargon and details as you would in most other telecommunication industry programs because they come from vendors. And it creates an identified talent pool of knowledgeable professionals who have carrier ethernet expertise. The benefits to the professionals themselves are that it demonstrates domain knowledge and a solid foundation in carrier ethernet and that's a nice stamp to have on your resume. It also recognizes the commitment to learn, master the concepts, and pass the exam. It differentiates candidates who have obtained the credential from those who have not. So if you're in a competitive job seeking situation, it can give you a leg up. Certification programs have also been proven to lead to higher salary levels and career advancement. Uh, this has been documented over the years in a number of, uh, of, of studies. The MEF Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional exam was designed for a technical audience. Technical sales and marketing, network engineering, network operations, product managers, and the people that test, service, and support uh, the equipment and the services that are de uh, delivering carrier ethernet services over that equipment. MEF membership is not required in order to obtain your CECP exam. And to date, there are over 400 MEF CECPs in 100 companies in 38 different countries around the globe. And here is a pie chart of some of the job titles of, of the CECPs that, that have passed. From an industry distribution standpoint, the majority are service providers, but just slightly, 52%. The next largest chunk are uh, equipment vendors, who have 36% uh, have of those 400 CECPs come from, come from there. And a number of others, including enterprises, now sending uh, their IT staff to get uh, MEFs certified so that they can better understand the telecommunication services that they're buying and deploying in their enterprises. 
From a regional distribution perspective, over half of them are in North America. Uh, the distribution mirrors very closely the uh, geographic um, MEF membership distribution, with most of the people being in North America and then uh, a, a large chunk in the Asia Pacific region and in Europe. The pass rate of the MEF CECP exam is about 65%. The initial 80% spike that you see in the first bar chart there on the left was due to the MEF insiders taking the exam during the pilot phase. But then you can see that that pass rate dropped uh, significantly in the, the first quarter that it was released to the, the general population, and it's been sort of steady, steady state ever since as more uh, tools become available to help you study and the network of accredited training providers uh, grows. So now let's look at the uh, exam itself. It's a rigorous 80 question exam and candidates are given an hour and 45 minutes to complete it. It's an online exam of multiple choice questions. The exam itself covers 10 subject areas, carrier ethernet service definitions, transport and access technologies, basic definitions, uni, ENI, EVC and OVC service attributes. Uh, the exam look, covers the other MEF certification programs and then really you get to the core of the exam. It's application focused. So applications for carrier ethernet and comparing carrier ethernet services with other layer two and layer three telecom services like frame relay and ATM, for example. Uh, lastly, the exam covers circuit emulation services over ethernet and service operations administration and maintenance or SOAM. Candidates must achieve a 63% or higher in order to pass the exam and be awarded their CECP certificate. So here's an example question uh, out of section one. The, um, a customer with three locations requests Ethernet service for very transparent connectivity between these locations. Which service best meets this requirement? And so then you're given uh, four possible choices, which all look pretty, you know, pretty similar. So let's decode this question, and I'll show you how to parse it and come up with the right answer. So first we're looking for three locations. So we're looking for some sort of a multi-point services, but unfortunately all four answers are, uh, are, are multi-point services. The second is really the sort of the giveaway. We're looking for very transparent connectivity between the locations. So the requirement for multi-point with very transparent uh, connectivity makes the EP LAN the best choice due to the full mesh connectivity, not having to go through the root of, a, of an eTree service, for example. And it, because it's an Ethernet private LAN, we have the ability to tunnel and pass to the EVC layer 2 control protocols, such as spanning tree, if we'd like. At the end of the exam, the MEF will provide you with a post-exam assessment. And hopefully yours doesn't look like this. This candidate didn't do very well. Uh, but looking closely at the assessment, you, I, it tells me that this was a candidate that came from the networking uh, industry. Their access and transport scores were, were quite good, but uh, tying those into the specific MEF components, looking at the applications, understanding the certification program and circuit emulation, uh, they, they didn't do so well. So this, this candidate would have needed to schedule for a, uh, a retake. So you too can take a free uh, 20 question assessment exam to see how you could do on the real thing. Uh, I've written 20 questions, one or two questions from each of the 10 subject areas, and at the end you'll immediately receive your results. Uh, we'll then provide you with an assessment report like the one I just showed you and counseling to help you prepare to pass for the CECP exam. So please come visit our website and sign up today for this free um, 20 question assessment exam and uh, see how you measure up. In part two of the video series, we'll look at preparing for the CECP exam. I'll give you some alternatives preparing to pass the exam, including self-study, online, or instructor-led training from one of the MEF's accredited training providers. Thank you very much for your interest in the Carrier Ethernet Academy. I hope you found this fir first part of the uh, video presentation on the Metro Ethernet Forum's Carrier Ethernet Certified Professional enlightening, and we'll come back and watch the other two. Thanks. Goodbye.